season of the Champions League has been played in this particular format, four groups of four teams, ensuring a minimum of six matches. With the ball, it's as good as a corner, isn't it? It's another really, really long, dangerous throw into the area. Agresh, Rod, John's got it. Has time to bring it down. And this gets the uh, ball all wrong. Portable will clear, but look at that. So many green shirts around Svera. As soon as she got possession of the ball, she was closed down. John's got it. Pio. Pio picks it up once again, tries to play the one two. Rod goes for goal, it's deflected into the path of Pio. The flag stays down, and Wolfsburg have taken the lead. We haven't even played 10 minutes, and the home side are up and running. Her fifth goal in five matches this season. The Polish forward on target. Wolfsburg up and running. Well, there was an air of fortune about it. Pyle picked it up on the edge of the area, tried to play the one-two with Rod, who went for goal. It was deflected into her path. And she gleefully accepted the opportunity. A calm, composed finish. Rod's shot taking a wicked deflection. Ball and kindly for Pyre, who did not need to be asked twice. <laughs> St. Bolton, a dominant force in Austrian football. They've got seven top flight titles. Lieken Cup doubles as Wolfsburg look to make it two, and they do. The defence stood still, and Eva Pyer is on a hat trick after just 15 minutes. All smiles for Struth and his side. It's a blistering start for Wolfsburg. It's better than he perhaps could have even hoped. John Stott here with the nod on, and look at that, Pyre in behind. It was good strength, good composure. It was Klein trying to close her down. She couldn't get there. Billums. Rasmut playing with a confidence and a freedom now, Wolfsburg, that you'd expect. Just from deep, there's the head of Goldwoods. He's on a hat trick, don't forget. Eva Fire with the thumbs up. Just couldn't direct. Getting more and more competitive. Rod lays it out wide to Willems. Chance to cross. John Stott here at the far post. Rod with the shot deflected behind. Goal kick, according to the officials. Nikolaeva just losing out, and that is a swift ball from right to left. And look at the pace. Pyle keeps it in. Pyle for the hat trick, goes for goal. Saved and held by Schluter. Aklesh will take. On the volley, not quite. Again, they're claiming the corner, and again. Pio in behind, flicks it on. John's dot here with the chance to make it three. Oh, she sent it wide. She's got a couple of goals already this season. And that really, perhaps, should have been her third. No free kick, says the referee. Here's Agresh. Stands it up towards Pyre with the header. Claims of handball, not given. Broad. Goes for goal, it takes a deflection. Takes the sting out of it. Makes it more comfortable for Schluter to get down. John's dot here on the end of it, but can't direct it goalwards. Willems lining it up. It was 
one from the training ground. Respectable in this second half. Hendrish easily cut out. But she wins it back. Willems with the chance to cross. First time ball, it's a really good ball in, and Latvine finishes it off. And Wolfsburg have their third goal, 10 minutes into the second half. And that surely seals all three points for the home side. Well, it was well worked by Wolfsburg. Acres of space for Lynn Willems. A first time ball in, that is a perfectly placed cross. It was Pyle with the header, she's on a hat trick. Denied by Schluter, who could only parry it into the path of Latvine, who could not miss Janssen. Fuchs with the clearance, only as far as Pop, who goes for goal. That wasn't far away, was it? A fierce shot from Alexander Pop. It's a good tackle, a good foot in. Oh, it's been deflected into the path of Pyatt, who gets there first, but just can't keep it down. Hooked in by Lapvine. Hoot with the shooting opportunity. Aglesh. Walter. Off of Fuchs and behind for another corner. Gresh with the corner, it's right underneath the crossbar, right on top of the keeper. Now there's a shooting opportunity, and that is probably the first time in the match that Froons has been called into action. Now, there's a little bit of space here, Pyre lurking on the penalty spot. That shot is crept all the way in. Jill Rod completes the scoring in the 90th minute. Finding the bottom corner. Schluter rooted to the spot. Two goals in the second. Rod picked it up here, took a touch, and decided to dig the ball out from underneath her feet and try her luck. And why not? Pinpoint accuracy. Here's Hoot. They're queuing up for it. There's a shooting opportunity, and that one is comfortable for Schluter this time. The man it was, getting her shot away. A winning start to the campaign for last year's semi-finalists. Wolfsburg up and running with a home victory on match day one.